In this segment, we will discuss logic design, design of various logic circuits using multiplexers. So, logic design using multiplexers. Make sure you let me know if you want any specific topic in digital logic to be covered and make sure that you like, share and subscribe the videos. So here we have a question, implement function ABC equals 0, 4, 5, 6 using an 8 is to 1 marks. Right? So here we have a function ABC, meaning there are three inputs ABC. If there are three inputs, we have eight combinations 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And I find that the function of ABC is high for 0. So when the input is 0, I get a 1 at the output and then 0, 4, 1, 2 and 3 I get a 1 for 4 we have a 1 for 5, 1 for 6 and 0 for 7. Now how do we implement this using an 8 is to 1 marks? An 8 is to 1 marks has 8 inputs I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7. There are 8 inputs and there are 3 select lines. So these 3 select lines are given to ABC. The select lines S0, S1 and S2. Right? So when ABC is 0, the data which is given to I0 appears at the output Y. So when the select line is 0, 0, 0, I need 1. So I connect 1 to the input I0. So 1 is given to I0. Then I have a 0 for the combination 1, 2 and 3. So these 3 inputs are given to 0 or they are grounded. 4, 5, 6 are given to logic high 1 and 7 is given to 0. So this is an 8 is to 1 max and what I get here is 0, 4, 5, 6. I get the, I get the output which is high for the combination 0, 4, 5 and 6. So that's fairly simple. Right? So let's take another example. So we have implemented the function ABC for 0, 1, 2 and 7 using a 4 is to 1 max. Okay. So according to the given problem there are 3 inputs ABC and the output is high for 0, 1, 2 and 7. So the output is high for 0, 1, 2 and 7 and it is 0 for the remaining combination. We need to use a 4 is to 1 max. A 4 is to 1 max has two inputs. So there are two select lines. There are two select lines. A 4 is to 1 max has two select lines. And there are four inputs. Okay, so there are two select lines S0, S1 and there are four inputs I0 to I3 and there is one output Y. So the output Y, what do I need? I need F of ABC which is equal to where the function is high, the output is high for the combination 0, 1, 2 and 7. So what do I do? Now there are three inputs here. 
this is the two table. So let, let me divide the two table in this way. For every two of combinations, let me divide the two table. So here what do we observe? <clears throat> For the first two combinations, 0 and 1, AB is 0, 0. And C is 0 and 1. Right? So I give A and B to the select lines S0 and S1. So when S0 and S1 is 0, 0, whatever appears at I0, whether it's 0 or 1, appears at the output Y. So when AB is 0, 0, irrespective of C, whether it is 0 or 1, I get a 1 at the output. Isn't it? So this is connected to 1. Very simple. Right? So when AB is 0, 0, I have 1 appearing at the output, irrespective of whether C is 0 or 1. So C is... The condition of C does not matter. It's like a don't care condition. Right? So C does not come into picture as long as AB is 0, 0. I need one of the outputs, so I connect 1 to I0. Because when AB is 0, 0, I0 appears at the output. When AB is 0, 1, and when C is 0, when C is 0, 1, I get 1, 0. Now what is 1, 0? 1, 0 is the complement of C. Right? When C is 0, I get 1. When C is 1, I get 0. So when AB is 0, 1, whatever appears at I1 is available at the output. So therefore, I have C bar. I need C bar here. When AB is 0, 1, and when C is 0, I get a 1. And when AB is 0, 1, when C is 1, I get a 0. So connect complement of C to I1. The next condition, 1, 0. When AB is 1, 0, whatever appears at I2, the input appears at the output Y. So when C is 0, 1, the output is 0. So we need to connect 0 here. Very simple. And then when AB is 1, 1, I3 appears at the output. So what is the output? The output is nothing but C. We observe that when C is 0, output is 0. When C is 1, output is 1. So C appears at the output. Okay. So this is how the given expression can be implemented using a 4 is to 1 max. So let's take another example. So implement the following function using a 4 is to 1 max, but here we need to use B and C as select lines. Right? So in the previous case we had used AB as a select line, but now we need to use B and C as the select line. So 1, 4, 5 and 7. So what do we do? So B and C as a select line. So now you have 0, 1, 0, 0. I have a 1 and 4, 5, 6 is 0, 7 is 1. Right? So let us try to rewrite the truth table in a different way. Now B and C are the select lines, right? So B and C are the select lines. So let me write B and C and then let me write A. So where is B and C come? So look at the two table here. So here in this case, B is 0, 0. B and C is 0, 0 and B and C is 0, 0 here, isn't it? So for B, C is 0, 0 and A is 0, A is 1, what do I get? I get 0 and 1, 
we get 0 and 1. Okay? Next, when B and C is 0, 1, B, is, B and C is 0, 1, B and C is 0, 1, right? B and C is 0, 1. For A equal to 0, I get a 1 at the output. And for B and C, 0, 1, and for A, 1, I get a 1 at the output. Right? Next, B and C, 1, 0. B and C is 1, 0. For A equal to 0, I get a 0 here. For B and C, 1, 0. For A equal to 1, we get a 0 here. And then for the remaining two combinations, when B and C is 1, 1, B and C is 1, 1, for A equal to 0, I get a 0, and for A equal to 1, I get a 1. So what have we done here? We have rewritten the truth table. We are not interchanging the MSB and LSB. A is still the MSB, B and C, C is the least significant digit here, bit here. But then I have written B, C and then A. So I have written the two table in such a way that B and C remain common and then for A, 0, 1, I get the output. Okay. So now what do we observe? For B, C equal to 0, I am connecting B and C here. B and C are the select lines. When B, C is equal to 0, 0, I0 appears in the output. Now what is I0? This is the output. Right? The output which appears at Y. Right? So when BC is 0, 0, the output is equal to A. So I connect A. Very simple. When BC is 0, 1, I1 one appears in the output. When A is 0, 1, we get 1. So I connect 1 here. When B, C is 1, 0, I2 appears in the output. But when A is 0, 1, I get a 0, isn't it? So for B, C, 1, 0, I2 appears in the output. But what is I2? It is 0 for both the combinations of A. And for B, C, 1, 1, the output is equal to A. So I connect A here. So what are the inputs? The input is A1, 0, A. And we get the output. Where B and C are the select lines. Okay. So let us go in for a full variable implementation. <clears throat> so we need to implement the function ABCD given by this. Right? Using an 8 is to 1 box. So the output is high, the output is high for the combinations 0, 1, it is 0, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7, a 0, 4, 8 and then a 1, 4, 9, 10, 0, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 1, 4, 15. So this is the output function of ABCD. So this has to be implemented using an 8 is to 1 marks. So an 8 is to 1 marks, there are three select lines S0, S1 and S2. And there are 8 inputs. There are 8 inputs I0 to I7 and an output Y. So this is an 8 is to 1 max. Right? So now there are 16 input combinations. So since I need to use an 8 is to 1 max, let me divide them like this. So every two combinations I divide. So now for the first two combinations, ABC is 0, D is 0, 1. 
It is very similar to the problem what we did in the previous case, isn't it? For, for the next two, ABC is 0, 0, 1 and D is 0, 1. Okay? So for every two combinations, we find that ABC remains the same. So when ABC is 0, 0, 0, so I give ABC to the select lines S2, S1 and S0. When ABC is 0, 0, 0, when D is 0, 1, I need to get one of the outputs. So connect 1 to I0. Because when ABC is 0, I0 is connected to the output. When ABC is 0, 0, 1, I1 appears at the output. Right? So when D is 0, 1, I get a 0. So connect 0. Right? So I connect 0 here. So when ABC is 0, 0, 1, I get a 0. Irrespective of whether D is 0 or 1. Now, for the next case, when ABC is 0, 1, 0, I2 appears at the output. So if you observe, for D equal to 0, 1, the output is also 0, 1. It is the same as D. So connect D to I2. So when ABC is 0, 1, 0, whatever appears at the input I2 appears at the output Y. So when D is 0, output is 0. When D is 1, output is 1. For the next case, 0, 1, 1, irrespective of D, 0, 1, I have 1 at the output. So connect 1 to I3. When D, when ABC is 1, 0, 0, I4 appears at the output. I find that the output is the same as D. When D is 0, output is 0. When D is 1, output is 1. So connect D to I4. Next, for 1, 0, 1, I5 appears at the output. So we observe that the output is the complement of D. D is 0, output is 1. D is 1, output is 0. So connect the complement of D to I5. Next, for 1, 1, 0, irrespective of the, the value of D, 0, 1, I get 0 at the output. So connect 0 to I6. And for the next one, 1, 1, 1, I7 appears at the output. I find that the output is the same as D. So connect D to I7. So connect D to I7. So fairly simple. So let's take another example. So now here we need to implement the same function using a 4 is to 1 marks. So the same example using a 4 is to 1 marks with AB as the select lines. With AB as the select lines. So uh, we have a 4 is to 1 max with two select lines S1, S0, A and B. So there are four inputs I0, I1, I2 and I3 and we have a single output Y. So now since we need to implement this by using a 4 is to 1 marks. Let me consider 4 input combinations at a time. Right? So let me consider 4 input combinations at a time. Okay? So now if I consider the first 4, AB is 0. AB is 0. Right? So when AB is 0, I have I0 being selected. So whatever appears at I0 will appear at the output. Right? Now, compare CD and the output Y. 
we find that c is 0 0 output is 1 1 c is 1 1 output is 0 0 right irrespective of d so i can connect c bar to i naught what is the output the output is the complement of c itself so connect c bar here so when a is 0 0 when c is 0 1 i get 1 when c is 0 1 i get 0 0 i get 1 when c is 0 cd is 0 1 i get 1 when cd is 1 0 you get 0 when cd is 1 1 you get 0 here so the output what we get is the complement of c next consider the next four when a b is 0 1 i 1 appears at the output isn't it so now observe the output with respect to cd when cd is 0 0 output is 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 so what does this represent this actually represent represents an or of C and D, isn't it? So you give C and D to the two inputs of an OR gate, OR gate, I get this output. So when C is 0, 0, I get 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and AB is 0, 1, so I'm selecting I naught, the second input. Now when AB is 1, 0, Now we need to observe these four. So you get 0, 1, 1, 0. For 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what does this represent? This represents exclusive or XOR, isn't it? Right? So connect C and D to a two input XOR gate to get this. And then when AB is 1, 1, okay? And when you observe these four, I find that it, the output is 0, 0, 0, 1. What is 0, 0, 0, 1? It's nothing but an AND gate. AND. So give C and D to the to a two input AND gate and the output connected to I3. So you would get this. So this is how this can be implemented. This four input combination can be implemented using a 4 is to 1 marks. Okay, so for these various inputs of A, B, C, D, I will get the output as defined by this expression. So let's take another similar example. For a 4 input variable, So again now let us consider another expression here where the output is 1 for I have simplified the two table instead of writing so again we need to implement this expression using a 4 is to 1 marks so for the first four combinations AB is 0 for the next four AB is 0 1 for the next four AB is 1 0 for the next four AB is 1 1 right so you have 0, 0, 0, 0. Next for 4 is 1, 5 is 1, 6 is 0, 7 is 1. Then 8 is 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right? Okay. So there are two cases. Case 1, take A and B as select lines. Case 2, take C and D as select lines. So in the first case, let us take A and B as the select lines. Now when AB is 0, for CD, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, we know that I0 is connected to the output, but we observe that it is 0 for all the four combinations of C and D, so I connect 0 here. Next, for the next one, we find that 
0 1 so AB is 0 1 I1 gets connected to the output we find that the output is 1 1 0 1 ok now suppose the output was 0 0 1 0 what is the expression the expression would have been C D bar isn't it the expression would have been C D bar if the output was this but now we have the complement the output is 1 for C D bar but the output is 1 for the remaining 3 combinations except for C D bar right so we have complement of this so applying De Morgan's law you get C bar plus D so this is nothing but C bar plus D which is the complement of C D bar right so you have I have an OR gate one of the input is C bar the other input is D so I hope this is clear now to realize this expression I consider the complement of this otherwise we have to write the expression for output 1 output is 1 when C D is 0 which is C bar D bar or the output is 1 when C is 0, D is 1 which is C bar D or output is 1 when C and D are 1 that is plus C D and then that has to be simplified so when you simplify that you get the same expression so otherwise just take the complement output is 1 for only one condition C D bar but what do I need? I need the complement of this so complement you get C bar D very simple so next for 1 0 I do appears at the output now what do we observe I get 1 0 1 0 now this 1 0 1 0 is the complement of D isn't it so connect D complement here and then for the last one when AB is 1 1 I get 1 0 0 1 so when C D is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, I get 1, 0, 0, 1. So what is 1, 0, 0, 1? It is nothing but X nor operation, right? So connect C and D to a two input X nor gate, we get the you will get this. Okay. So this is how this expression can be implemented using a 4 is to 1 max. So now the condition is instead of choosing A and B as the select lines we need to choose C and D as the select line so as in one of the previous problem let me try to rewrite the same two table by writing C and D first and then A and B ok so C and D 0 0 C and D 0 0 so I get this the first one C and D 0 0 for A B 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so the output is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 so what is the output the output is 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Next, when C and D is 0, 1, so I have this. The second one. So for A, B, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So we get 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. The second one. The second output. Next, when CD is 1, 0, so I have this CD 1, 0. So CD 1, 0 for AB 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what do we get? We get 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then for CD 1, 1, I have the last one. 0, 1, 0, 1 for 
AB00010101. Okay, so that's fairly simple. So when you rewrite the two table in this way, it becomes very easy for us to write the implementation using a 4 is to 1 marks. Right? So now the select lines, so let me rewrite this. So the select lines are C and D. When C and D so when C and D is 0, 0, we have I not connected. So C and D is 0, 0. When A, B is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, what do I get? I get 0, 1, 1, 1. So what is 0, 1, 1, 1? It is nothing but an OR gate. A and B connected to a 2 input OR gate. The next one. When C, D is 0, 1, I, 1 is connected to the output. So I have 0, 1, 0, 0. So what is this? This is A bar B. Isn't it? So A bar B. So this is A bar into B. So this is A plus B. What about the next one? So when it is 1, 0, we have A, B bar. So this is, this is going to be A, B bar. So A, B bar, give it to a 2 input AND gate. Give it to I2. And then the last one, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1 coincides with nothing but the input B. Right? So when C, B is 1, 1, I3 gets connected to the output. But we find that the output is nothing but B. So connect B here. So this is how we can implement the same expression using a 4 is to 1 marks with C and D as the select lines. So in the previous case we considered A and B as the select lines. Now we have considered C and D as the select line. So once you rewrite the truth table, it becomes very easy for us to implement the same expression using a 4 is to 1 marks or maybe using an 8 is to 1 marks as given in the problem.